In Artlantis, customizing the lights separately for each camera is easy. Scroll down the list with the different light sources and reorganize them. You can quickly prepare a day or night scene for the same view, like in this example. The scene is lit only by the interior lights while the active heliodon is set to night. Fine-tuning of the overall lighting can be done in the rendering options. The wheel icon takes us to the settings of this camera, and we can already choose from some presence below radiosity and lighting. We can also customize them if we reveal the acting parameters. To access them, we need to unfold this palette in the Atlantis Preferences by checking the Display Expert Rendering Parameters checkbox. Back to the Rendering Options palette, we will find four different sliders for lighting. If the physical camera is checked, the first two sliders will be the ISO and shutter speed. They are, in fact, the manual settings of a camera. ISO refers to the sensitivity of the camera, while the shutter speed represents the length of time the camera's aperture remains exposed to light. The shutter speed slider calculates the time by dividing 1 with the set value. As a result, the lower this value, the longer the exposure time will be. By default, Artlantis sets the rendering parameters based on ISO and shutter speeds that offer excellent color quality and highly realistic results. If we find that some surfaces are too dark, we can open the Tone Correction palette and lighten up only the dark ones. Light tones won't be affected by this slider, thus your scene will remain balanced. Back to the rendering parameters, by unchecking the physical camera option, we enable the automatic light adjustment in Atlantis. In other words, we switch to a camera setting the sensitivity and the shutter speed automatically. The parameter list changes, and the first two sliders now will set the first bounce and next bounce. To better understand the meaning of the automatic light adjustment, let's go back and open the Heliodon inspector and check the position of the sun. I'll move the slider and change it to daytime. Atlantis will automatically recalculate the lighting because the sun has become very powerful. The interior lights seem to disappear. They are too weak compared to the sunlight. Changing the time again for sunset or dawn, the sun loses power and the inside lamps appear again. This built-in automatic feature in Atlantis is able to correctly balance the light power and help you create balanced renderings regardless of the lighting conditions. This is the perfect setting when animating the sun, for example, and studying the changes of light on a building. Both the physical camera and the automatic light adjustment have their own strength. Take advantage of the one that suits you best.